regardless what's in my bag video, I think the bag itself is just as important as what it contains. In selecting a bag, my three considerations are storage size, weatherproofing, and durability. The bag used for this video is a chrome Kharkiv backpack. The headphones I use have to work in multiple scenarios. I use these for everything from recording monitors and aids in transcription to personal enjoyment. The Sennheiser Urbanite XL over-ear headphones are ideal because they offer substantial isolation and despite being a little heavy on the low end, they provide a clear response across the spectrum. Another thing I like to carry around with me in my bag are energy bars and lip balm. The first item out of my audio bag is a Shure MV88 microphone. The MV88 is a stereo condenser microphone that connects straight into your iOS devices using a lightning connection that records in 24-bit 48kHz digital audio. Using this microphone in conjunction with the Shure mobile app, Motive, enables you to customize your recording configurations. The multiple microphone capsule arrangement allows for audio capture in variable mono or stereo patterns with true figure eight and mid side options. I would like to mention that all of the voice audio for this video was recorded using the MV88, and I would also like to give a special thank you to Chase Olivier for recommending this microphone. This is a Sony DSC QX. It is a smartphone lens style camera that connects via Wi-Fi to your iOS devices. Essentially, it's a 10x zoom camera with your device serving as a viewer when capturing either photo or video. Another thing worth mentioning is that this lens does not have to be coupled or mounted right onto your device in order to transfer content. Journaling and keeping planners is vital when balancing a wide arrangement of projects. Having a sturdy folder to protect important documents is a must when transporting them in my backpack. I carry an assortment of paper types to aid in note-taking, sketching, and jotting ideas on staff paper. A great alternative to carrying around a heavy laptop is a tablet. A tablet comes in handy when I don't have access to a wall plug or when there is not much desktop space to work with. The combination I'm using here is an Anchor Bluetooth Folio keyboard case and an iPad Air 2. Just as important as having an assortment of paper types is also having a well-rounded variety of writing tools. In my experience, having alternate forms of ID is a must. Being able to grab my bag and go from the classroom to the airport is a bonus. The second Ziploc bag contains extras for my electronic devices. This is where I store cables and chargers for my audio video devices. I also have a flash drive, extra SD cards with adapters. The final item out of my bag is my laptop. The benefit to using a slightly older model is that it still has dedicated peripherals and ports that newer models don't have. For example, extra USB ports, a card reader, a Cat5e port, and an optical disk drive. And can't forget the charger either.